With the advancements in the material sciences, a great improvement is seen in the physical, mechanical, biological and optical properties of dental biomaterials. A vast variety of biomaterials are used in dentistry in different applications. These biomaterials are divided into four main categories. Number one, preventive dental materials. Number two, auxiliary dental materials. Number three, restorative dental materials. And number four, temporary restorative material. The dental biomaterial which prevents the propagation of tooth decay or dental caries are called as preventive dental materials. Well, uh, these include the chemotherapeutic agents like toothpaste, mouthwashes and cavity varnishes. They may also include the pit and fissure sealants and uh, fluoride releasing cements like glass enamel cement. Well, in some cases, the preventive dental materials may also serve as a restorative material for a, for a specific time period, which may be short term, which lasts for up to few months, and moderately uh, longer time period, which lasts for uh, about one to four years, and for a longer time period, which lasts for more than five years. Secondly, the auxiliary dental materials. Well, uh, these are the substances which are used in the process of fabricating a dental prosthesis and appliances, but uh, they do not become the part of these devices. The examples include the impression materials, the impression waxes, gypsum cast and uh, model materials, finishing and polishing abrasives, and acid solutions. So all these materials, they help in fabricating a dental prosthesis or appliance, but they are not the part of the final prosthesis and that's why they are called as the auxiliary dental materials. Thirdly are the restorative dental materials. Well, uh, these are the dental materials which are helpful in repairing or replacing the defective tooth structures and uh, these include the dental amalgam, uh, bonding agents, the composites, then the compomers, ceramics, liners, uh, the bases and the dental polymers. The restorative materials, they are divided into two subcategories. Number one, the direct restorative materials and number two, indirect restorative materials. The examples of direct restorative materials are dental amalgam, dental composites, glass enamel cement, etc. which are used to restore the tooth directly Whereas the examples of indirect restorative materials are dental crown, bridges, um, then the cast partial dentures which are made with the help of a lab technician or a laboratory. Like the patient comes to you, you take the impression and you send it to the lab and then the lab sends you the prosthesis. Lastly, there are temporary restorative dental materials. Well, uh, these are intended to be used uh, to restore the tooth for a temporary time period and these include the orthodontic wires, the temporary cements for uh, the lining, then there are temporary cements to restore the tooth or for the filling purposes, then as a luting agent for temporary cementation of inlay onlay crowns and bridges. So this was a brief lecture discussing all the four categories of dental biomaterials. I hope it was helpful and informative. Thank you very much. Take care.